We're back here at the Boomfest 2024 unveiling and press conference, and I have the pleasure of speaking to none other than Martha Huro, who is the managing director of Boomplay East Africa. Hello, Martha. Hi, Aniko. How are you? Thank I am you good. Me. It's always great to have you, and it's always great to be around Boomplay. You guys are always up to something. Today has been such a wonderful day for me, for us, for the industry to unveil this Boomfest 2024 which is the inaugural festival by Boom, Boom Play called Boomfest, starting right here in Kenya, Nairobi. I guess the first question I have and everybody has is, why Kenya? For us, we celebrate, but this is something going all over the continent, but it's starting right here at home. I mean, Kenya has been the most vocal and most um, accepting of the ideas that come from uh, the Boomplay desk. However, it's because of the passion around the Kenyan uh, music industry. And being that we have the data that supports the Kenyan music industry, then why not do it at, uh, you know, the home of the Kenyans first? Of course, it was a fight, but I won the fight. So, <laughs> good job to me as well. No, fantastic, great job, because we have been crying in the industry when will we see an all kenyan concert an all kenyan festival when will we see big corporations and streaming services putting money onto the kenyan music industry and that is what boom play is doing that is what boom fest is doing so in a nutshell how many artists do we expect to perform at this festival but over and above the performance itself there are a lot of things happening activations competitions on tiktok prizes to be won uh, explain to us what is this whole Boomfest thing is about as we lead towards April 6th. Well, Boomfest is a culmination of so many things and ideas happening together because we started out in the campuses doing campus activations where we are, have the campus people locked and now we want the whole of Kenya to be locked. So essentially, we have a lot of data on Boomplay, but the interpretation has been quite slow. So bringing that data and making informed decision to know that these people need to have a Kenyan, an all Kenyan lineup, because you can't say that people will not show up. They are already listening to this artist, and this artist was actually picked from the data. So again, I, I reiterate the, the statement that content is king, but context is king Kong, because so now we're giving the context to the, to the the, con the context to the content that we are doing. And uh, of course, um, how we chose the, the uh, performing artists, you can see it's pop, gengeton, and then, um, and then hip hop. And you can see there are three females. So Nadia representing pop, then we have uh, Saru representing gengeton, then we have um, Femi One representing hip hop. So of course there was a lot of thought put into it for that. And coming to the setup, even the sound, it was just something that we had to sit down and plan accordingly, in, up until including this presser, because it was something that was thought out. But who best to do it than Aniko? So everything from Boomfest, from um, the strategy to the tactics, is a well thought out ide idea or ideation that has been brought up to life. And people need to... I feel like as humans, we still need to unite, we need to embrace, we need to celebrate. So what better slogan than that? Yeah. 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 Where is this train going after Kenya? So after Kenya, there's a, a little bit of a gamble, but for sure we're going to have Ghana, Nigeria and Tanzania doing the shows. And then after that, the second edition will do roving boomfests, whereby the different artists can, can um, exchange program each other. Yeah, so we bring the artists here, they, we take the artists on, on the other platforms, uh, on the, in the other countries as well. So essentially creating a platform, a growth curve for artists. You've already performed in your hometown, in your TAF. Now go and perform in somebody else's hometown. Exactly, so, exactly. Yeah. And, and for you and for Boomplay, you're saying this is an ideation, an idea, a dream that was, in, that was put in on paper a long time ago. Something you've been working towards together with the team, lobbying for a long time. Why has it been so important for Boomplay especially to invest in the Kenyan music scene? Our aim is to... Um, empower the African music industry to unlock its full potential. So how then do we empower the African music industry to unlock its full potential? By supporting the African music industry. I believe the problems that are in the African music industry are three. Policies, because we don't have proper policies put in place. Education, because it's not just making music. 
There's also the whole side of music business. There's a whole industry that is called the music business industry, right? And then, of course, finance. Because, I mean, brands, individuals, they're not willing to invest in the music industry. But now that is changing. We're seeing you know like all these institutions like banks now are willing to invest in the creative the kenyan creative industry is losing 252 million per day that is money that should be in creatives pockets not being lost to piracy so then how do we bring this together and ensure that this money is going to their pockets by starting things like this because we know the the the, the artists how they make most money is through shows then why not give them a show they make money through their content then why not do production with them because you are doing production as well they are making money from merchandising then why not do that so i mean they want to uh, they want to go to the campuses then why not take them to the campuses last year I did eight campuses with campus MVP. I mean, the ideas and ideations will keep on coming yeah, yeah, yeah. and watch the this. Opportunities are endless for those who see where they are in, and go there. Yes. Yeah. Exactly, just that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Martha Huro, the MD of Boomplay. Please, we urge you to go over to Boomplay to stream your favorite artists. Also, go over to Hustle Sasa or Kenya Buzz and get your tickets to the very first Boomfest 2024 festival happening this April 6th at the ASK Dome right here in Nairobi, Kenya. We're going to have an amazing list of artists. Ebu name, drop them. This artist, by the way, this list is fire. We have Calligraph, we have Nameless, we have Willie Paul, we have Bahati, we have Nadia, we have Femi One, we have uh, Saru, we have Furthermore, we have Vijana Barubaru, we eh, there are Wakadinali. Wakadinali, we have Brooklyn. Yani, the list is just fire. Expect nine hours of enter pure entertainment from Kenyan artists. And of course, we have DJ Lighter on the decks, you know, hot grabber over there. And then the MCs, of course, is uh, um, Mwali Murecho and DJ Exclusive. So, and Yanni, from the gate, from the branding to the sound to everything, to the sponsors that we've brought on board, and also the vendors that we've also brought on board, you guys will just enjoy. Thank you so much, Martha. It's been a pleasure to have you right here on VAP Access on Location. That's why we're capping off. Ciao.